Here on this Tobacco University video, we're going to go over the terpene myrcene. All right, welcome to the terpene guide to myrcene. Well, what's the scent location and properties of this particular terpene? Well, myrcene is a monoterpene found in the most abundant terpene in cannabis. So that's kind of interesting. The scent is earthy, sweet, and musky. And foods that you might be familiar with it containing, because it, of course, uh, occurs in more than just cannabis plants, uh, mango, hops, lemongrass, thyme, uh, guava, melon, as well as that lemongrass has that kind of myrcene uh, concentration. But you might be familiar with some of the sweet earthy, musky smells you might be very familiar with. So what are some of the benefits of uh, myrcene? Is that it does have anti-inflammatory and anti-mutagenic, which inhibits cell, cell mutation, including cancer cell properties. So kind of important for reducing fl inflammation, as well as a potential uh, chance at reducing cells from mutating, which could be uh, related to cancer research going forward. It does suppress muscle spasms, sleep aid, and also has antibacterial properties as well. Studies show that myrcene may take THC uh, more effective, which is why it said that consuming fresh mango or other fruits that are high in concentrations of myrcene prior to consuming cannabis will increase the effects of the cannabinoids. So we have that chance that this might be having that effect, uh, additive effect with some other cannabinoids. Now, going through information, this is one thing I did find, I did cite the source uh, down here, is that there's inaccurate m information I've read about uh, myrcene. Myrcene is important, as I state, because uh, presence uh, determines whether the strain is indica or sativa, and that is not true. Uh, they're looking at um, classifying indica or sativa based on the effects. So they're saying anything with less than 0.5% myrcene produces sativa-like effects. Uh, so keep in mind that sativa and indica, the only true indication of sativa versus indica is the morphology or how the plant actually looks. It has nothing to do with indica-like effects, sativa-like effects. Indica sativa is really only referring to the morphology of how the plant looks. Is it tall with thin leaves? or is it shorter with wider leaves? That's, a, that's an indica versus sativa comparison, not these uh, kind of made-up effects because different terpene concentrations, cannabinoid concentrations, can uh, change the chemical profile, which can change some of the properties and effects of the plant. Indica, sativa, not directly correlated. It's an old myth that goes way back. Uh, so if you're looking for some strains to kind of look at that might be high in myrcene, well, here's kind of a little bit of a list here. Here's also a great summary slide uh, to provide you with some more information about the terpene myrcene.